uh, our scheduled band that I was supposed to talk to, they never showed up. So we're going to Roger Homefield because Roger Homefield is here, and he is. Uh, we're going to be chatting. This this is going to be an interesting segment today because I will have to say, well, let's 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 get. Actually, let's do this because because this. I am terribly, terribly enthralled with the fact, and there's the band. They just clicked in on the other link. Um, I am terribly enthralled, Roger, with the fact that yesterday, Jank Uger of the Young Turks, he recently uh, wrote a pretty interesting book called Justice is Coming. Um well, he announced he's running for president on the Democratic side yesterday. He will primary your friend and mine, Joe Biden. And the thing about it is that Jink is doing this not because, and he didn't say this, this is me saying this, but... Um, by the way, the website is jenkforamerica.com. That is C-N-K for America.com because he's uh, Turkish. So it's pronounced with a J. Uh, what, 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 one of my favorite Rush Limbaugh clips of all time was when uh, Jenk talked a bunch of crap on his MSNBC show on Rush. And Rush was like, I don't know where a Jenk Uger works. I don't know what a Jenk Uger does. And I use that, I use that everywhere now. You know, I don't know what a Roger Homefield does. I don't know where a Roger Homefield works, but uh, I use that with everyone now. <laughs> but um, here's basically what happened yesterday: is that the the RFK Juniors of the world they have decided, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to to primary Biden. They're just not gonna let me in the news cycle. Nothing. So he pulls out and he becomes an independent, which could get really entertaining i think next year with that but so you have that side and then you have marianne william who is a really nice progressive woman but let me tell you something she doesn't have any name recognition she she, she's never going to get any interviews nobody's ever going to care she is the she is the asa hutchinson of the democratic side uh (laughs) so Jake is running now, and I think the reason why he's running is because this will get the Democrats to go sit Joe down and say, you got to get out of the race, brother. We're going to bring somebody else in because we can't have goddamn Jake Uger win because because Jake Uger wants to get rid of corruption in Washington. He wants to give people health care. We can't do that. Uh, he wants to he wants to pay people student debt off so they have more money in their pocket. We can't do that. So I think this is just a situation of this will get the Democrats to panic because I can guarantee you with his internet following and with the fact that he was on MSNBC and with the fact that this guy knows how to get so much goddamn media, uh, he is going to be shouting from the rooftops. You just give it time. He'll be shouting from the rooftops. Uh, the Democrat establishment, the as I like to refer to them, the red and black of the New World Order, um, they're going to panic, and they're going to go to Joe's house, and they're going to say, dude, you got to go. You, you, you get COVID, um, have a heart attack. Um, we don't give two. Sh- you got to go, brother. <laughs> so what do you think about this? Because this is this is crazy because... God help him. I would hope Jenk would go all the way to the convention and get the nomination, but that will never happen. <laughs> we could we could end up this year with this election coming up. We could end up with two candidates that neither of the neither of the New World Order, the elites, whatever the hell you want to call these people, don't want. They don't want Jenk, and they don't want Trump. <laughs> Beautiful. That's what I say. I here's the deal. If the new world order 
And all of them, just like Cousin Chris used to say on Jiggy Jag TV, if they're in a parking lot and they're on fire, I am taking the bucket of water that I have and I'm throwing it that way. <laughs> Away from the fire. <laughs> go go ahead, Homefield. Jump in there, baby. What what do you got for us? I don't know. What do you want to talk about? Yeah. Obviously, the Hamas thing is really the only thing you can yes. almost talk about. Yes. And, you know, oddly enough, Biden actually had a bit of a decent day yesterday when he, when he spoke. Of course, he was saying what everybody wanted to hear. That's the problem with that. And it's not what you say. It's what you do. Everybody wanted it's like to hear. the horse is already out of the barn. Yeah. So it's like I get frustrated. So I, I, I don't get to be in the Jiggy Jaguar show every day, you know. <laughs> So I like these Facebook posts just so my head doesn't explode. It's and so doesn't... here's one. Uh, hey, Joe, no amount of weapons you send Israel can undo the carnage. Your Obama, Biden, anti-Israel, pro-Iranian Hamas policies have unleashed. So for as, so although we said what everybody wanted to hear yesterday, really it doesn't mean a crock because it's like sending, it's like sending a fire truck to a place where you started the fire. Yes. Well, and th- and and see this th- this is another thing. And this this is another reason why I think this whole thing with with Jink running is is happening is that it took Biden how many freaking days to decide to say something. And then when this whole thing started, he knew about it, but eh, he waited a couple. He he waited like 2 or 3 hours. <laughs> 5 or 6 hours. And then went ahead and said something. And it's like, guys, you got to get rid of Biden. (laughs) One thing I think is great is that both sides are unified in the fact that we got to get rid of Biden. (laughs) Did you put the lid on at like 1130 in the morning and then he had a barbecue? And this is after he knew. Yes. Yes. Kind of like uh, Hillary in Benghazi, but we won't go back there. Uh, You want to tell me more about this? You're the only you're the only Republican leaning person on the face of the planet that doesn't want to that doesn't want to stem up Benghazi. Congratulations! Oh no! God damn it! Congratulations! Got away with murder again, but that's a whole other thing. You (laughs) You can just keep going back, you know. Yes. Um, So, how popular is this? uh, Oh my God, Jank! When he was on MSNBC. Uh, he he did a show uh, MSNBC Live, I think it was, because they didn't want to give him a didn't want to give it give it a name. Mm-hmm. Uh, he would have on whether it was Republicans or it was Democrats, and he would challenge them on things. Mm-hmm. And then he was pulled aside by the people at MSNBC, and they go, you know, we don't do that kind of stuff here because we don't want to ruin our access to the powerful. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, what one of the things that he did, which he has on a couple of occasions, I've heard various places kind of regretted <laughs> doing, but he was one of the folks that went up, and he was one of the people behind the Justice Democrats, who was going to take real thousand percent progressive type people and run them for office, and. They got a few people in there, and then Nancy Pelosi told them what to do, and then they just became another Democrat. So I think part of the reason why he is also running is because this will energize somebody in the Democrat Party to go, okay, we got to get rid of Biden. Uh, I don't care who it is. Go run Gavin Newsom. Go run you know, Whitmer. Go run somebody. Are, are and, you saying he has enough of a following, though, to, like, make a dent? Oh, yeah. Oh, you really? better believe it. Oh, you are, better are you, believe it. Are you, saying, are you saying he's more popular than me? No. He's, he's not more popular than you. And he's no, not more popular than he's IQL that, that, Rizzoli. <laughs> because I, I'm ignorant about it. I never watched NBC. So oh, I'll tell you, you you've got to look this guy up. You've got to look up his stuff. He, he ran for office in... Um, California for something. I don't remember what the hell it was, but he ran for office down there. And the media just tore his ass. They went and dug up every single possible horrible thing they could find on him to ruin his reputation. And it's it's so strange that, you know, he was one of the guys, and I, I seen this 
oh god, had had to be six months ago. He was on, um, you know, Dan Abrams' show that hardly anyone watches on News Nation. It used to be WGN, but now it's News Nation. Uh, and he was on there with another Republican establishment person, of course, and another weird Democrat establishment person. And they were arguing about birthing people and all this crap. <laughs> and he said, here's the deal. He said, Democrats could win on so many issues, but we get bogged down with this dumb crap like birthing people. <laughs> I don't think he said dumb crap, but it, it, the thing is, is, is he's, I think the biggest thing about Jink that is going to cause all sorts of problems <laughs> is that he can, one of the things that he has this, this online news show called the Young Turks, and they have raised a ton of money in the past for various causes, various um, you know, they needed they needed a, re- a reporter hired, so everybody in his audience went and generated the money to hire a reporter. And it was like small dollar donations. Uh, I honestly think this is just because he has said that Biden can't beat Trump. Biden can't beat any of the guys on the Republican side. So he's running to primary Biden. And I think, honestly, what will happen here, and maybe this is part of the reason why he's doing it. I secretly think this is why he's doing it. But he's basically running so it scares the hell out of the Democrats. So then they go find somebody else. And then Biden leaves. And then they run somebody else. And I think that he's honestly just doing this because I I just got to get him out of the way. We've just got to get rid of Biden. And this is the best way to do it. I mean, he's got that much clout. That oh, he yeah. Do, you know? Oh, yeah. You know, he it shows how up with things I am. Oh, know? I'll tell you. This, the, 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 yeah. I'm sure when he announced yesterday, there was a whole bunch of people in Washington that were on the Democratic what? side that are like, damn it. <laughs> you know, they have zero bench. You know, they have zero bench unless they want to call up. And the see, cell. that's the thing. That's the thing. You know, if they should have booty judge and I mean, if you come up with combinations, you come up with various people and they just don't yeah. have anybody that anybody cares about. Right. And, you know, one of the things that, uh, uh, you know, Jenk put in here on his website, the, he put a thing in here about, we need a new candidate. Biden is 13 points lower than when he barely beat Trump in the electoral college. Biden is 24 points behind Trump on the economy. The most important issue and Biden is currently trailing Trump when he has to win the popular vote by five points to win the Electoral College. And then he has a giant donate button underneath. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so I, I just, it is, it, it is just amazing. And I think that at this stage of the game, this is the best idea because what would be hilarious is if he, he got so far and had such a groundswell that, he beat Biden. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you, 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 you know, they, they, the Republicans bitch all the time about stolen elections and fixed elections. You want to see a fixed election? Wait for him to get on the ticket and both sides will come together like freaking uh, the Justice League to stop. <laughs> it's kind of like the last time with Trump. Where both sides came together so they could stop Trump. <laughs> They'll do the exact yeah. same thing to Jink. It'll happen. Because well, these guys I, are not allowed on the playground. I would just assume see Biden win and get crushed. And have it be like another McDonald's <laughs> election. Uh, time 10. That's what I would really like. And by the way, uh, are we still going to do this uh, student loan thing so that the students uh, can go out? We're going to have to reschedule. We're going to have to reschedule that because um, I don't know what's going on there. But before we let you go, Roger, because my next guest is calling, um, how do we get in touch with you online, my friend? Your favorite uh, part of the show. <laughs> I have a website that's going to be coming up just so I can house the jazz orchestra pieces and the p- political. Things. Okay. Awesome. He was, he was right all along at gmail.com. He was right all along at gmail.com. Fantastic. Well, Roger, I appreciate